Oh my gosh. Check this place out. Hi, we are Aymara and Gordon and we're slow traveling Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula for 70 days. After exploring the region's most popular coast, we decided to cross the peninsula and check out the beautiful state of Campeche. Today, we drove two hours south of Campeche's beautiful city center to visit Miguel Colorado Eco Park, which ended up being one of her favorite spots in Mexico so far. We're like 300 feet in the air, flying over a cenote. Good morning. I cannot believe I'm saying this, guys, but we are already halfway through our 70 day trip throughout the Yucatan Peninsula. That's Isn't crazy. that crazy? That's crazy. Can't That's insane. We have seen so many beautiful places here in Mexico, and right now we're in a city called Campeche, and today we're heading on our first day trip outside of the city. Yeah, so we're about to grab a taxi to go to the airport to get a rental car, and then we're driving two hours south into the jungle of the Yucatan Peninsula. It should be awesome. It should be a day full of adventures. But a lot first, of adventures. We have to get on a taxi to go to the airport to pick up our car. Last time we tried to rent a car in Mexico, it didn't go so well. So this time we went straight to the source. We're at the airport. Fingers crossed it goes smoothly. Well, that didn't go as smooth as we hoped for. We booked a car online with Hertz the other day and everything went great. It was super cheap. And then we get to the airport and we step inside Hertz and the only car that they have is a pickup truck with manual transmission. I can't drive manual so we couldn't use that pickup. And inside I get so frustrated when this stuff happens but everyone is like super nice that at the end of the day I like apologize to them. I'm like, oh, have a great day. Tengo un muy buen día, gracias a usted. And then I leave. Thankfully there was like another store or car rental agency inside the airport so we went to them. It took a little bit longer. Like we had to wait for an hour in line. But again, the lady was super nice, and we ended up getting this car. It was way more expensive than the other one, but you know, those things happen. But we're on the road, and everything is okay. We made it to Miguel Colorado Eco Park. It was a smooth two hour drive here. We actually have been super surprised about the driving in Mexico. Car rentals, they have not been exactly smooth, but driving has been just fine. And we're excited to spend the whole day here because this place is super remote. So not a lot of people come here. As you can see the parking lot, there's only three cars, but there's two really beautiful cenotes and one of them you can actually go and swim and rent kayaks. And it's supposed to be really, really beautiful. There's a lot of birds and maybe wildlife. And there's also one thing that I have never done before that is included in the price. I'm not sure if I'm ready for it, but they have zip lining. <laughs> We just made it inside the park. It's super cool here. There's no one. And we read on their website that they have a really cool restaurant operated by Mayan woman. So we're gonna find our way around to see where that is. If it's not open, because it might not be open, we're stuck with peanut butter sandwiches that we brought just in case. There's a group of howler monkeys right in front of us. Oh my god. I hope we can get them on the big camera. This is crazy. These are our first monkeys like five in minutes Mexico. In. Just yeah, five minutes in. Oh, they're big. This is so cool. Oh, that looks like the male. His face is huge. Like the alpha.
How cool was that? We weren't even in here for like two minutes, literally two minutes. That's crazy, and they're and still there. Like we're a whole forward. family of monkeys. That's crazy. Great start. There's like eight of them, and like the little tiny baby. Like, come on. I had no idea we were gonna see this. Like, yeah, I, she said we crazy. might, but I was like, nah, we probably won't. Yeah. But we saw monkeys. <laughs> this is awesome. It's gonna be the trusty peanut butter sandwich for lunch. So the Mayan ladies are not open on Wednesdays. <laughs> no, this is good too. Here's lunch. There's a lot of bugs. Ready to go zip lining? I guess so. I'm not like super nervous right now, but every time I hear people screaming, I'm like, okay, I haven't seen the drop yet. So I think that's a significant factor in why I am not nervous. I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. We're pretty high up. We're pretty high up. <laughs> Wait, this is even freaky for me now because I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm excited to see you. Because it's not bad if you go over trees because there's like no depth perception. But we're just going directly over <laughs> a cenote. Ay Dios mío. <laughs> It's terrifying. Okay. 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 No intente meter las manos en el cable, eso sí, para okay, nada. Para nada, ok. okay. Y ya en mi cabeza que me quedo ahí sentadita ya. Sí, sí, sentadita. No tengo que hacer nada. Nada. Ok. Pues, mi compañero le va a frenar aquí la va. Relaje los brazos, no haga fuerza. Ok. Eso es. Sí. La agarro aquí. Ya. Ok. ¿Está? Sí. Oh, no, no. Ay, ay. Voy sentado? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. 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 Oh my god. We're like 300 feet in the air, flying over a cenote. Oh my god. Okay. Are you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never look down. <laughs> I did not think it was going to be that scary. Yeah, I'm shaking. <laughs> uh, did you look down? Yeah, I didn't look down. <laughs> you have no choice but to go twice. <laughs> you have to go back. It's either none or twice. Listo. Listo. Vamos. Adiós, amigo. Sí, lista. Oh, 
so high. Oh. Ay, perdón, perdón. Gracias. You made it back. <laughs> I was saying, like, you either go twice or none. I'm just saying the jungle. <laughs> yeah. Second time was better. No? Mm. Gracias, chicos. Gracias por todo. Are you recovered from your scar? Yeah, sort of. I didn't love it. Let's put it that way. I've been zip lining before and I had like a really nice time, but there's always like a jungle canopy below you, so there's like no depth perception. But this is just like over an abyss, and we're so high up. And I think I almost had a panic attack on the way back. I was like, Really? What's the GoPro? Just like. I never looked down. I <laughs> neither time did I look down. Oh, I bored to see. And like, you know. I still have like. Uh, uh, if we ever go to New Zealand, and like I need to bungee jump, then that will be the last <laughs> video that we will ever film together. <laughs> <laughs> because I will just, oh, my heart will explode on my chest. Mexico. They were just walking, and we see these two guys just hanging above us. Oh my gosh. We kept hearing stuff, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right there. How awesome is that? We, we didn't know that we would see monkeys today. Not like this amount of monkeys. Or monkeys. Or monkeys at all. <laughs> Are you so happy? Mm -hmm. Did you forget about the zip lining? Yeah, I am more <laughs> relaxed right now. This is way better than Zipplin. This is the beautiful cenote, Los Patos, inside the park as well, just like a 20 minute walk from where we did the zip lining. And on this one, you cannot go down. This is as far as you can go. This is a viewpoint. You can just sit here and enjoy the beautiful views, listen to all the birds. Like five minutes ago, I was asking Gordon if his stomach was growling because I heard something. I thought it was a jawer but it wasn't, the lady said that there were no jowers here, so we're good. And now we're gonna hike back to the first cenote, the one that we zip line through, and we're gonna do some kayaking and swim because it's hot and all of it is included in the ticket. Look at this place. We have this whole cenote all to ourselves. This is crazy. This is awesome. You guys have to come here. You really, you really do. This place is unreal. I'm gonna jump in the water though. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Let's go. We already use our tirolesa, how they call it here. Now they're gonna use kayak and swimming. <laughs> cool ticket, huh? This is the best ticket. <laughs> Tickets for Nadal. <laughs> you enjoying your cenote? Welcome to the Aymara cenote. <laughs> it's so hard to float. Oh but I God. mean, it doesn't feel like real life, right? <laughs> like, it's just like we're here just chatting to this guy that he is like the nicest human. People here are so chatty and nice, and they just want people to come. And I don't know, you to should enjoy come Campeche. here. Yeah, you should come here. Everyone from Campeche and the surrounding areas, they're just so proud to be from here, and they they're proud of their place, and that's really cool to see. You can tell why. Check yeah. it out. Your own cenote. My own cenote.
gracias. Okay. Chao. This is pretty magical. I don't know if it's just that I'm happy to be alive after zip lining, but everything just looks so great. The breeze feels nice and warm. The monkeys make me smile. I mean, how come we ended up with like having a cenote to ourselves? I'm, I'm just like, my mind is blown away right now. Swimming here, just listening to the birds. We just saw a cute little turtle. Like the top of the, how do you say? Like the cherry on top would be like, if we start like seeing monkeys around us all of a sudden. But like this yeah. is so magical it's perfect I, we love campeche we love mexico the yucatan campeche miguel, miguel colorado miguel colorado definitely worth the trip to come here you have to come here it's almost time to leave though i almost feel like like what did i do to the surface don't want to leave <laughs> but the park is about to close and it's time for us to move on cannot state it enough come here if you can if you speak the language talk to the people that work here they're the nicest people just pure-hearted kind chatty humans love it here Today was absolutely incredible. We had a great day. We hope this gives you more reason to come visit Campeche, this place that we're absolutely falling in love with. But now we're just gonna enjoy the sunset before heading back into town for our light show. So we're gonna end the video with that one. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. anything I'm walking backwards really fast and the shot is super stable because we have a gimbal should I run yes <laughs>